your quick yes. on because we're running out of time yeah. here, and this is something that has actually already been tabled in parliament big names in race for yala slots <laughs> after failing to get key positions in government president william ruto's allies and raila odinga's cronies are t taking out the slots in the regional parliament but with only nine seats to share who will have the last laugh and i start with you kagushi on this is this just a ploy also to reward the high and mighty, so to speak, or cronies like the standard is calling it? Well, uh, I, I wanted to point out that uh, the issue of the CDF from what... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you will discuss I, as, as I come oh, to that. This I, one is already here. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, as Honorable Sifuna had actually said, his problem, he said, is not really the, the percentages. It's much more about involvement. Yes. And actually, I wanted to say that uh, Kenyans may not understand those figures <laughs> we are placing here. And so I, I think we'll have an opportunity to have that involvement. And that reassurance has been given. Yeah. And in fact, even one member of uh, Azimio is also moving that bill or that motion uh, for now. So the, the uh, members of parliament, rather people who have applied to go to IALA and uh, uh, as we can see the, the big names, I think uh, these are political positions. These are members of parliament who are going to be representing this country in an extremely important assembly, which uh, maybe we may not have taken so seriously in the past. That is IALA. And uh, uh, IALA is very important to us as a country because then we, we are supposed to use it to advance our, our trade and business interests across the East African countries. And uh, we are supposed to ensure that the laws that are made there are not in any way tilted against Kenya. Yeah. We are supposed to ensure that we still remain ahead of the others. We are supposed to ensure that uh, we are exporting much more to the neighboring countries uh, and, and, and uh, that the balance of trade and uh, the tariffs are well addressed in this case. So we are looking at politicians and people who have the capacity to help country, Kenya as a country to push its agenda in the region. And so you do not expect that uh, people who are going to be sent to Iala then are going to be either technocrats or bishops or, uh, uh, or doctors or uh, uh, business people per se. They, 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 are, they, are, they are generally going to be uh, well-seasoned politicians who have also these other uh, I mean, they could be any other thing. They could be businessmen, they could be bishops, they could be uh, doctors, but they are well-seasoned politicians. Okay. These need senior politicians. In fact, it doesn't need people who are going to start off as politicians in Iala. It requires someone who has done legislation in Kenya, and then when they are in Iala, they are able to represent this country, and they understand very well what is, ex what is uh, necessary, what is expected, and as a country, what we need. Okay. Because if, if you look at uh, what is happening at this time, we, seems, we seem to be losing the grip on the balance of trade in East Africa. In the past, we have seen a very harsh treatment from one of our neighboring countries yeah. where uh, we have uh, seen people being denied pa uh, the, the permits, the work permits. Yeah. We have seen where people have been denied uh, business opportunities in a certain country, a neighboring country. And those are the issues that we expect yeah. Yala will be addressing. Because at that point, when we had even uh, our, our Kenyan pastorates, uh, cattle being destroyed and killed and, uh, and, and those kind of challenges experienced in a neighboring country, I did not hear any voice from our Yala members of parliament. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting that this time around, whoever is going to be in that uh, parliament yeah. is going to be seasoned, okay. is going to be aware, yeah. is going to be conscious, is going to be deliberate, and is going to help our country not to be treated in, uh, in condescending manner okay. by our neighbors. All right, I'd like to hear your brief remarks on this Yala issue and then give you a chance for closing remarks one minute each. So, Sifuna, are you happy with the list? Because there's something that uh, Kagusha has mentioned there that this is not a point where someone should start off. First, I cannot fail to be happy with the list, at least from the yeah, ODM perspective. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we know that uh, uh, first these positions were advertised and people were invited to apply. And those who needed uh, sponsorship or nomination by political parties, individual political parties, were then seconded by those political parties. And for a political party to nominate you, first the party has to know who you are. The party has to know you. The party has to have a contribution. In fact, even when we are running for positions, there is a, an application form in ODM at least uh, that you are required to list your contribution 
to the party uh, for the past two years preceding an election. So it is not easy, if you have not made any meaningful contribution to the political party, it is not very easy for that political party uh, to nominate you. So if you look at the names that were put forward by uh, ODM, for instance, uh, Timothy Bosire is a former member of parliament. Uh, he ran for governor in Yamira, was an, uh, unsuccessful. He's the longest serving, I think, uh, uh, official of ODM as we speak today. He's our national treasurer, has dedicated his life in service of the people of uh, Kenya and to the service of uh, ODM as a political party. He's not somebody to be denied. And he has the capacity to be able to do the job at uh, Yala, having been a legislator himself, somebody who understands what the vision of the party is in terms of uh, uh, regional integra integration. He knows the promises that we made, at least in our manifesto, of ensuring that we actually have final free trade area in this particular region of ours, to be able to push for, for greater integration of the region. Yeah. Uh, you look at uh, people like uh, Justice Kizito as well. He has been a legislator. Uh, he understands and is a supporter of the party. Beatrice at school, uh, Winnie Odinga. And when, you know, when, when, when it comes to some of these people, uh, you know, me, I have, I have worked with Winnie, and I have worked with many people from the Odinga family. One of their greatest frustrations is that they are always judged by their second name. That is just impossible for a people to view you as an individual with individual capacities and talents. That every time anything comes up, uh, you are told, oh, it is because of this and this. Those of us who worked with uh, Winnie uh, during the campaign, we know what she's capable of doing. She is uh, somebody who has her own talents in her own right, and uh, that the public has decided to... Uh, make this second name some sort of curse or burden on members of this family is quite unfortunate. Let people be judged by their own individual capacities. And I have seen all of these people who have been uh, nominated by the party, and my colleagues can bear me witness, they are actually in parliament, actually lobbying members of parliament, actively telling them, uh, Sifuna, if you support me, these are, these are my views, this is my vision for the region, this is what I'm going to do. And in fact, at the Senate, we are privileged when it comes to Yala because the reports from Yala, they, they come to the Senate, you know? So we, we need to look at these people. You know, newspapers, I, I have no problem. You have been my friends for a long time. But there is this, uh, uh, you know, attraction to sensationalism. Uh, so that uh, because somebody's name is so and so, you say, oh, these are the big names. But at the end of the day, these people need to be looked at in their individual capacities and vetted as to whether they are able to actually perform the, uh, the job. So for me, as SG of ODM, I yeah. can say without blinking that I am happy with the list that we've presented. Okay. These are men and women who are capable of doing the job. Okay. Osoro? Um, I think Kenyans also need to understand what, you know, Kenyans do not understand what IALA is, possibly, because they wonder, I mean, are we choosing other MPs? It is indeed true. There is an establishment of East African community, which comprises of about seven states so far, and I think there is an eighth one that should be uh, joining. DRC. Yes, DRC. And um, the, the, in artic under Article 49 of the East African Community Treaty, it provided for uh, IALA you know, a legislative arm, where all these states, you know, create a legislation arm. It created a legislation arm that was founded in uh, November 2001, thereabout, I think 30th. Uh, what do they do? They sit and make laws that govern, you know, uh, the operations of these member states of the East African community. So each member gets or nominates members of parliament who goes to sit in that particular parliament which is currently housed in uh, uh, Tanzania and make laws that affect us, things to do with the port, you know, things to do with the clearances and stuff like that, revenue across the border and stuff like that. Now, those members are elected by the sitting members of parliament, both in the Senate and the National Assembly. And how do they get elected? They get elected by member parties. Okay. UDA, I mean, Kenya Kwanza currently will give, the provisions currently is about, it's for nine MPs from Kenya. So uh, the uh, minority side will take four and will also will take five. So we've nominated 15 to fight for the five from our end of Kenya Kwanza, and they've nominated 12 mm. to fight for the four from Azimio, but they'll be voted by all members of parliament. Correct. Now, this is now where I uh, now review the list. From where I sit, I am contented with the list of Kenya Kwanzaa because of the regional balancing and stuff like that that uh, we, we, we worked on. 
Uh, but looking at the list of uh, Azimio, uh, for me, no. Uh, on, on, a, on a few na names. We need to provide a platform to nurture young people. Where is the place for the young people in, in the Azimio list? Uh, other than the notable names. Do you know uh, in, in, in as much as you see the only the Nini only is name younger than you. exactly it is true so the, only, the, only person, the only She's the only person you, the, the only person he is hanging on no, you have is, is Winnie no you've said you want to young Winnie. people She's younger other than, than me. other than, younger than other than other than being a uh, 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 younger other than being a daughter of uh, the honor Raila <laughs> Amolo Odinga <laughs> what other qualification did they look at to have a nominated in the list now look at uh, Jeremy Kioni really you know, I, I don't agree, and uh, for the first time, I don't agree with Honorable Kagushi on what he said about uh, having experience in Delhi. I mean, this is a normal parliament that members will be inducted, okay. uh, provide a space for the young people to grow. What is Jeremy Akioni going to, 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 to do there? I mean, really, why couldn't he give up? Is the SG, he wrote a letter and placed himself to be voted. I am a voter in the National Assembly and I will not vote for him. I mean, really, uh, other than uh, I'll be fair on uh, Kenneth Kalonzo for institutional memory. <laughs> you know, his, his institutional memory is served there before. But all these other people f f from ODM, you know, uh, Suleiman Shabal, somebody who wanted to be governor in Mombasa, he couldn't pro g give another person an opportunity for such. You know, those are the people that we, 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 are, we are looking at. And possibly uh, Sankok from our end, representing the you know, the, 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 the people living with disability. Now, you see? Look at that. But where is the place of the people living with disability from the side of Azimio? There isn't. They were not even considered. All right. I mean, they shared within the families. <laughs> okay. They, they sat down and shared with the notable families. We've really run out of time. Let's see what the feedback is, and then we we'll close this discussion on State of the Nation. I'm sure this conversation will come up again because Parliament will vote on the names as well. Then we'll see the final name that they come up with. Let's see what you're saying. At Trevor Mbija, Citizen TV Kenya, hashtag Daybreak. Let's run that really quick before we wind up. Kivgeno Headboy says the debate on presidential term limit is ill timed. We are still struggling with the high cost of living that was supposed to be lowered as soon as they lowered the Bible. Is it about them and not us? Interesting times ahead. Okay. Ingenuel Lazaro says, in politics, nothing happens as a coincidence. All issues are being well planned somewhere. Presidential term limits is a serious issue that can't just come from a little known MP without the knowledge of their chief whips. Akina Osoro here. Okay, it doesn't add that part. But Paul, Paul Rudy <laughs> says the presidential term limit is a non-issue and Kenyans have serious matters like high unemployment rate, drought and famine, poor health care and education standards, corruption and economic crisis. UDA parties should refocus their energies and rein in on the rogue members. Okay. Peter says the motion to extend the presidential term limit won't be acceptable. Let them finish their two terms and give room to other Kenyans to be president. Reverend Harrison says, to me, Fafi member of parliament was his own opinion. Even President William Ruto can't agree to remove his term limit. I remember him saying after 10 years, he will go and preach. So what's the jitters for? Let's talk about feeding Kenyans. Okay. And Godi says, Kenyans have no time or an emergency of discussing the presidential term limit with the high cost of living, ravaging drought, and a high cost of uh, other and high host of other problems. It will be unfair for leaders to focus on the term limits and tenures that suit them. Okay. Bagumba Steve says, on this, on the term limit debate, who tells those yapping about it that the current ruling government psychophants have no intentions to vie for presidency? This is just a passing wind to keep our headlines moving, but nothing will come out of it. Ata Rigiji, an attacker Urais. Okay. <laughs> Bobo Dino Wino says presidential term limits limit is something which shouldn't be put under the table because even in the previous regime, it came up and coming up too early under this regime, it sends a warning signal. Sawe says if indeed Silvana Sosoro, a UDA Kenya, assumes the cases are politically instigated, why not those from ODM like Edwin Sifuna, UDA are setting a very bad precedence that you can get away with anything when in power. They now want to change the constitution. Mm. Atanas Mavuti says the same people who went campaigning against the ban of Mitumba when Honduraila mentioned it are the same people who want to ban Mitumba now. The same people who said they will make education cheap are the same ones who want to stop university funding. Sad. Okay. <coughs> Ibra, do we have time for quick closing remarks? That's it. Why is Ibra being... All right. One minute closing remarks, Kagusha. Yeah, th thank you very much. Ibra is the director. <laughs> we, 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 
as leaders, I, I, I want to say we must be very sensitive to the plight of Kenyans. Okay. Uh, because Kenyans are bedeviled by many challenges at this particular time. Yeah. And so whatever uh, we are engaging in as, as leaders must show and reflect that okay. and must be able to support Kenyans and uh, we must deliberately put in measures to ensure okay. that uh, life is becoming bearable to Kenyans. Okay. And so uh, we want to commit, personally I commit very much that uh, uh, we will be able to focus much more on issues that are of benefit to Kenyans. All right. And, and, and of course there's a gentleman who thinks that uh, the, the issue of IALA shouldn't be a discussion at this time, but, but really that, that it is time bound. I okay. mean, there's a time that it is done. All right. and, and, and so uh, we can't evade from having Yala MPs okay. uh, at this particular time. All right. And, and, and one I, minute is up. Yeah, and I think we as political parties, maybe we just need to respect each other's okay. uh, lists. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, when it comes to floor, yeah, yeah. But when they come to the floor of the house, yeah. we now can uh, focus on individual members. Yeah, because I also have a few issues with uh, some of the members who are presented uh, in uh, some of those lists. Okay. So when they come, on the floor of the house, you I will them. exercise my democratic right now okay. at that point to ensure that only those people whom I think yeah. are going to represent our interest are going to sail through. Okay, Sifuna, one minute. Uh, first, to just let uh, my brother Osoro know that uh, the ODM party nominated one of the most brilliant PWDs to ever be nominated uh, uh, to the Houses of Parliament, uh, Senator Crystal Lasige, who calls herself uh, a VIP, because she's a visually impaired person. Uh, and she is already holding forth for the persons with disabilities and uh, there is general consensus that in fact the PWDs have never had greater representation than what she's providing. Number two, uh, we continue to be the official timekeepers of the 100 days <laughs> that, uh, uh, you know, we were promised certain things were going to happen. I saw the uh, Deputy President regarding Ashagwa trying to move that deadline to sometime in December. I just want him to know that we all have calendars and we remember what it is that they said they were going to do within which time frame. We still are looking to see the reduction of the cost of living, the cost of hunger, the cost of fuel. I was shocked, uh, Trevor, because I sit in the Senate Energy Committee when it was disclosed and my chairman, Mr. Uh, Honorable Matinga, uh, made this submission on the floor of the house that, in fact, the price of electricity, the, the amount of money that Kenyan sells electricity to, uh, to Kenya Power, if you compare it with the private, uh, the so-called independent power producers, yeah. they are charging 20 times more the price that is uh, charged by Kenyan. And this is why we have very expensive uh, uh, electricity. We have actually summoned yeah. Uh, some of these IPPs, the Minister for Energy, to come and explain to us why these contracts cannot be terminated because they are unconscionable in our view and yeah. it is one of the things that needs to be done to bring down the cost of electricity right. and the cost of fuel. Osoro, briefly. I, I, I will limit my closing remarks to two things. One, uh, um, um, on Azimio's uh, nominees, I suggest that looking into the future, please offer the platform to, for the young people to grow. I have been a member of ODM before, and uh, I was actually with Sifuna. It's, 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 it's the only party that mem young members don't, young people don't grow. You I, have to strive. I am sitting right here. You have to strive to grow, and he knows the I hassle. Grown. By the way, when we, when we had a dream of vying with him, it, of course, he's the latest uh, entrant. I had to move for me to, to be elected. I mean, I left him. So it, it has, it's been a delay of several years for him to be here. But I'm here now. And, and finally he's here. <laughs> can imagine, so offer the platform. Yeah. But finally, yeah. um, I yield confidence uh, to the Kenyans that the economy is growing. I was actually going through the ratings of the Treasury of the government securities the other day. And I realized in the government securities treasury bills and bonds that were advertised last week, that were on record last week, yeah. uh, attracted bids of about 153%. That shows investor uh, confidence in this whole thing. Please, we are in the right trajectory. Yeah. Uh, believe in us. And in, in another few days or so, you'll be able to like this country and what is going to happen. By the way, 100 days are not over. Yeah. The timekeepers <laughs> should know that. <laughs> the they, they wasted our time in court, so yeah. we can't count 100 days, okay. in, including our, you know, including it's the, the, inauguration. the, the court days. and stuff like that. Okay. They really wasted our 14 days. All right. <laughs> we, have to, we have to leave it there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have to leave it there. Uh, <laughs> 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 member of Parliament, Honorable Silvana Sosoro, Majority Whip, and South Mugirango, Member of Parliament. Coming up next is Chef James on cooking tips. All right. Bye for now.